Hey guys! So today's video, I am so excited because I got my Yes Please palette from ColourPop today and I am so excited! I love this palette. It, I mean, look how beautiful that is! And I'm going to be creating a fall look with it today. I think this is like one of the best eyeshadow palettes for fall. And I am just so excited. And um, that's really cute. Cute as cute AF. And then whenever their packages come in, they send these cute cards. And it says like, did you know we have so much room in our hearts for you? XOXO color pop. That's so cute. And then they have bunnies and pigs on the back and it's just like it says things like cruelty free color pop beauty that doesn't break the bank which is so true so I'm so excited to be filming this look for you guys and I'm gonna be using some new products in this video so I am so excited and let's just get into the video or into the tutorial <laughs> To start off, I'm going to start with my eyes because I just moisturized my skin and it's really important to prime my eyes. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I'm in the shade Fair Neutral. Then I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Techniques pointed foundation brush. And then I'm so happy that ColourPop includes a a shade to set down your concealer with. Now I'm just going to be taking my Luxe tapered blending brush. I'm just going to dab it in there and then just set. J called bling. All right, so. Before I get started, I wanted to mention oops, <laughs> the e.l.f. brush cleansing wipes. I have been using these the past couple days and they are on the, on the go brush cleaning wipes and they work really well. And they're affordable so you don't have to go and spend tons of money to get good on the go brush cleaning wipes. These are like, I think, $3, and they work well. So what you do is you just take the cloth, and then you put it down, or lay it down, and then you take your brush, and you just move it back and forth, and or go around in circles just to get all the eyeshadow. Get that. And it doesn't smell bad either. <laughs> so it's like really easy on the go. Brush cleanser wipes I wanted to mention that are affordable and that you can use between uses when you're using your eyeshadow um, brushes. So when you use the same brush and you dip into another color, you won't be mixing all your colors together. Okay, so for the transition color, I am going to start off with the shade called Big Cocktails. Oops. 
and that's this shade right here. And I'm taking my Luxie 229 tempered, tapered blending brush. All right, so to deepen it up, I'm going to take the shade called Louie, and I'm, I use the Bedellium Tools 776 brush, and I'm just going to take this color and put it more towards the outer V and into the crease. So for the star of the show, I'm going to be taking these two colors right here, um, Spoiled, and I believe this is called Note to Self. I'm just going to take this like in the middle and then the lighter shade in the inner corner and inner part of my eye. I'm just going to take my handy dandy fingers and just start with this color. It's such a beautiful, like, orangey, orangey color. <laughs> beautiful color. I'll think about that, and then I'm gonna take my ring finger and take the gold shade, this beautiful gold, put it in the inner corner and in that part of my lid. And now, just to deepen it up just a little bit, I'm going to take the deep, uh, <laughs> this color right here called Mischief, and just use that on the outer V. And I'm taking my tapered blending brush and just take this really pretty brown chocolatey brown and use that on the outer V. Now I'm just going to take a clean blending brush and take the same color we used in the beginning. This color right here called Big Cocktails just to make sure everything's blended. for the eyes right now or eyeshadow look and now I'm going to take my NYX my NYX matte liquid liner and create a wing <laughs> oh the good thing about wing liner though is that you can always go back and sharpen it up, which is what I'm gonna do. Take my cotton square, some micellar water, we'll fold it in half and just All right, so for mascara, I'm gonna be trying out this new one from Wet n Wild. It's the Max Volume Mascara Plus. I tried this a day ago and I really liked it. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes. Just 
this is what the wand looks like. Really nice. It works so well! And this was only like three, I think three dollars? That's just one coat. That is awesome. I'm gonna do a second coat. It really volumizes your lashes while also giving them a really pretty curl. Okay, so another new product is the NXN Nurture by Nature Flash Matte Perfecting Primer. It minimizes shine and refines pores with java tea leaf, licorice root extract, and grapeseed. This is for oily and combination skin, which is the which I've learned now that's the type of skin I have. And this skincare line is affordable they're cruelty free and I have been using this for my primer every time I wear makeup I conceal and perfect foundation because it's a two-in-one. <laughs> and since this is a dramatic look, I want something that's full coverage. So I'm just gonna do two ah! pumps on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use my EXO Beauty angled face brush to apply. If you guys want to see how I clean my brushes, please let me know in the comments below because I can definitely film that for you guys. So I'm going to be doing a cream contour today. And I'm going to be using the Elf Aqua Bronzed Peached. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques Buffing Brush and just use this shade right here. And I promise you, it looks orange on camera. It's not that, it's not orange. So I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Concealer, which I'm gonna use, yeah. Because it's more lightweight than the foundation I use, so I don't. Okay. Urban Decay brush just to blend. <laughs> I'm actually gonna take this is the one that I was looking for. Um, the Becca highlighter in per, the shade Perseo Perseo Pop. I got this in a boxy charm. A boxy charm. That is incredible. Ah! I'm gonna take my 
Number seven, translucing, transluting, translucent powder. And I'm going to take my Equal Tools powder brush and What I like about this cream contour also from e.l.f. is it doesn't look muddy. The brush I'm going to use is the e.l.f. I think this is called. E.l.f. can you please put your names on your brushes? <laughs> um, I'm going to take the Processional Pop highlight and just Apply that to high points of my cheeks. See, it has that nice gold. All right, so now I'm just gonna comb through my eyebrows. Now I'm going to do uh, my lower lashes, <laughs> lower lash line. Come on, Tatum. So we're gonna start with the start with the shade Big Cocktails, and I'm gonna use my Elf eyeshadow C brush and just dip the top of it. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna tie the whole look together. So then I'm gonna take uh, this shade right here called Louie and put it on the outer just to match. And then just for a pop of color, I'm going to take the cold. I think it's actually called Spoiled. Oh, yeah, it's called Spoiled. See, I'm still learning, you guys. I'm self-taught, so I'm still learning. And I make mistakes as well. I'm not perfect. I hope you guys are okay with that. So we're almost done. Um, for lips, I'm going to take the shade Aquarius, uh, the Ultra Satin Lip from ColourPop. It's like this really pretty nude. Alright, you guys. So, for the last step, I'm going to take my Pixie Glow Mist, just to set everything. It's not perfect by any means, but... That's okay. And that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look um, and video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already 
and I will catch you guys in my next video.